Now this morning, two memorials in San Jose paying tribute to the victims of the VTA shooting. Now the first was private, the second public, but it was highly emotional as the deep pain from these killings was felt and expressed by a mother of a victim who attended the memorial. NBC Bay Area's Ginger Conajero Saab is live with us in San Jose with that mother's moving message. Ginger? Laura Marcus, it was very difficult to see the visible pain of a mother today. One year after she lost her son, her, Jose Hernandez III, to the VTA mass shooting, Carrie Benbow shared her emotions, her emotional pain, and a clear message. This could have all been prevented. I can't microwave 35 years of my son's life with me. We had a very intimate relationship. I am wearing the clothes today that I wore with him on the last time I seen him on Sunday, May 23rd. We had lunch. We took a ride on his motorcycle. I spent six hours with my son. Not to know that that was the last time I was going to hug and kiss him goodbye. It was hard to find a dry eye in the crowd or someone who was not moved by Carrie's message. She also shared the extent that she would have taken to save her son's life. His biggest fan for as long as I am here. And I would have given anything to take those bullets. Carrie is just one voice from the many who are feeling the triggers of the VTA mass shooting today. Employees gathered earlier at the rail yard, welcoming one another with long embraces and comforting words. This would happen at a private memorial. There, the horn sounded 10 times for the nine lives lost this day last year, as well as the 10th life lost months after when an employee who witnessed the shooting took his own life. A VTA employee, VTA employee rather, that we spoke to fought back his tears saying the anniversary and recent mass shooting in Uvalde is triggering. It, it just depends on how everybody processes the different, the evil that, that happened, right? So some people, you block it out for a while. Actually, I felt like I blocked most of the events out for a long time. Several other VTA employees uh, that we are told took a mental health day today to cope with today's anniversary. Ginger Conajero Saab, NBC Bay Area News.